It's your boy T-Bear and reaction to today's music Monday. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Wait a minute. Before I go further, I want to make sure I, I ain't missed the time to record the... Because this is a Hip Hop 50 as well, too. And the Grammy has a Hip Hop 50 uh, Hip Hop tribute uh, show that's going to come... That's airing. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss the airing so I can um tape it as well, too. Uh, December 10th, so I got got time to set my recorder up. But anyway, nah, in honor of 50 years of hip hop, I've been trying to look at videos about, you know, what we, what the, as successful hip hop is right now, it's doing, it's dealing with a lot of declines of the late, though, as well, too, though. Yeah. Man, hopefully the hip hop get a little better for you in the future, man, because I, mean, I still got faith in it as well, too. I mean, I'm nosy as well, too. So this was another one. Um, I, this is from the uh, channel. Let me look at the channel up because somebody will show the channel on here when I have it up as well too and too. Um, um, but anyway, um, I've been checking out a lot of videos about hip hop and his, uh, decline in a lot of channels as well too. Um, this was from Hip Hop Madness. I did one before as well too. This is about LA hip hop and say, so my how LA hip hop lost is cool, you know. LA hip hop had its great run, still a good run. That's what you say, man. As well too, right? Yeah, LA hip hop had a good run, especially in the nineties as well too. And they even had another great run, a greater, a good, another good run during the two thousand twenty ten though. But it's like as a late, it lost its cool, according to a lot of fans. Those well too, you know what I mean? It's not as popping as it was well too. As it was, you know what I mean? The New York scene taking over, the the, the, the downside scene taking over as well, too. You know, so like the New York scene is, is kind of like getting the same sound as the down south and the Midwest as well, too. What did you drop? What did you drop? I feel like something dropped you. I don't know, I don't know what did just drop, but anyway, um, anyway. But anyway, well, I thought I did want to check out why is it why he, LA hip hop has lost its cool. What's going on? I think last time this talk about like the decline hip hop on this well too. So anyway, let's get it. Just, it's only him right now. When it comes to the West Coast, it's fair to say that they've had one of the biggest fall offs since over a decade. Mm. In the years 2018 and 2020, not a single album from the West Coast managed to secure a spot on the list of the highest first week sales. Wow. In fact, in 2019 and 2021, only Tyler the Creator saved LA from suffering the same mortifying fate. And in 2022, the returning Kendrick shattered the Billboard list to remind mm. everyone of LA's greatest. But if we step back in time to around mm -hmm. 2013, 14, and a lot of 2015, it seemed like LA was unstoppable. So much so mm -hmm. that for a while, they nearly took over hip hop in the they same did. way that Death Row did back in the 90s. I feel like it went on to the West Coast, period. You got like Kendrick and them, the whole T D squad, Nipsey, Nipsey. Like, like Dom got Yeah, Dom, like Dom Kennedy, Buster. Out, oh yeah, Buster out. had a run too, man. His went and down as well too. Expected. Kendrick came out. His Platinum, Dom Kennedy, he on his independent grind. Yep, the West Coast. Still is. Across gangster rappers, MCs, and producers, there was a fountain of talent to admire. Yeah, but for a multitude of reasons, we're now back in a place where Cali is a shell of its former mm. self. So what happened? Well, for a start, you have the shifting priorities of Kendrick Lamar, where he once seemed hell-bent on being king of the coast, mm -hmm. one hand, I juggle them both. Back in the era where he initially arose to power, Kendrick has changed both personally and creatively. Where he once seemed destined to be number one, Kendrick has made an effort to basically let go of that mindset to pursue his own creative vision, mm -hmm. rather than put on for the West. Right. Basically, from the minute he released To Pimp a Butterfly, it was clear that he wasn't interested in coastal warfare. Mm -hmm. And instead, he made history as he racked up Grammys and pulled surprises. Sure, Mr. Morale did feature West Coast artists like PG Lang's own, Tana Leone, Blast, and Baby Keem, mm -hmm. but at this point, it's clear that his focus isn't to lead the West into greatness all on his own. And frankly, he couldn't do it on his own anyway. It mm -hmm. takes a concerted effort to create exactly. that kind of momentum. 
And while at one point it seemed like TDE as a label were going to do just that with the Black Hippie crew, TDE are now in the same position that Death Row were all those years ago, mm -hmm. and proving that a label holding the culture in a vice grip isn't sustainable. Yep. Led by Top Dog, Musa, and Punch, TDE once had everyone fixated on their core team of Kendrick, Schoolboy Q, Absol, and J Rock. Mm -hmm. But now, Kendrick has left the label to form PG Lang. Yep. Absol's hype was whittled away to the point that his first album in six years didn't even chart, and Schoolboy mm -hmm. Q and J Rock haven't dropped a project in at least five years. Yeah, Meanwhile, sure. Reason, who was signed mm -hmm. as the West Coast's next great hope, hasn't captivated fans, and Fortunately. even TDE are hanging them out to dry these days. Mm. Following a major dispute between himself and Musa during an episode of Back on Fig, none of the label's execs even showed up to the launch mm. party for his new album, Porches. I had a release party, nobody showed Damn. up from the label. I took it as, you know, maybe it's just giving me space because they know how I am. For people not to come to your album release party. Now, that I understand sucks. what you're saying. You're not really looking at it like that, but that is saying something. That sucks, man. While someone like Reason hasn't been able to launch in any meaningful way in TDE's biggest tough. stars. Have and he's not a bad rapper. He's tough. He's pretty cool with Tasha's. Well, too, it's just like I say, that's not the West Coast way anymore, you know what I'm saying? Lost their momentum. Cali also had to deal with facing mm -hmm. the loss of one of its brightest stars in Nipsey mm -hmm. Hussle. An artist who grinded relentlessly while uplifting his community, yep. Nip didn't always get the credit he deserved. Instead, he just kept working and found ways to organically mm -hmm. fatten his pockets while building his buzz. Eventually, the industry woke up to him. But by that point, it was too late. I think at that time, you know, I was just like, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to just be raw me. And if they f with it, they going to but now I understand what makes money. I understand what the objective of this whole thing is. I was on a major label. I understand radio. I understand audience. I understand retail. So I look at like I went to college. Rap is what I do. I'm good at it. When I focus on it, I can make incredible records. You know what I mean? It's just about getting my life to a point where I could really focus on it. I feel like I own everything now. I own my own company. I mean, I ain't done a publishing deal. I own my own studio. Both a civic leader in his community and an incredible rapper who put the world on notice with his debut album, Victory Lab. Nipsey was just reaching that highest level of fame when his life was senselessly cut short. And in a lot of ways, it felt like that new wave for Cali died with him. After all, his peers in Cali weren't exactly firing on all cylinders to fill that gap he left. Sure, Dr. Dre could oversee a Super Bowl halftime show, but there wasn't a song on that set list made after 2015, and that came from KDOT. Known for his perfectionist ways, Dre had faded into the background, and in all likelihood, Detox will never come out. I had between 20 and 40 songs on Detox and I just couldn't feel it, he told Rolling Stone. Yeah. Usually I can hear the sequence of an album as I'm going, but I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't feeling it in my gut, so I really thought I was done being an artist. Even though he's still releasing music, Snoop is more known as a gimmicky product placement for campaigns than he is for rapping these days. As a result, it's impossible that he'd ever truly be seen with any legitimacy, even if he is an all-time GOAT. Speaking of which, they may be legends, but the likes of Ice Cube, E-40, and Too Short aged out of the heat of the right. battle. As a result, their collab album from 2022 barely made it to the top 200. While in the game's case, well, the less said the better. When he's not engaging in petty feuds, he's claiming to be the best in Cali. Yeah. Can't nobody encounter our rap game. Let's Kendrick, see. my Kendrick do it. Thing about it though, he's yeah, too, I flew past he's, dim, he's like not too, he not no, he no better than 50 with the dumb shit right now, to be honest. I'm saying he might look, to be honest, he's a little bit worse with the dumb petty shit right now. That's the only thing. Like, he's, he got to get his focus back in the music, man. We we got, we got a cool guy like, like him back. But right now, he's on some bullshit. When that was on foot in a Range Rover and showed him how to do it, don't play with game, man. Hardest and confident rapping mm -hmm. lyricist, me. But even after Nipsey had passed on, there was some brief hope in one of his disciples yep. that he helped rise to fame. Yep. My situation with yeah, Atlanta what, was already solidified due to Nipsey Hussle walking me and Kifa in the building. He gave us that big brother love, that big brother hug, and never wanted nothing from us. All money in, I was really supposed to be all money in. Praised since his Feed the Streets mixtapes days, Roddy had every tool to make it, albeit with a sound that resembled Atlanta more than it did his own region. After The Box exploded in his debut album, Please Excuse Me For Being Antisocial, along with it, he undeniably became the leading light of the coast. But even so, he had some issues about the lack of support he'd gotten from the city. I had to take the torch. So I don't necessarily. That's the thing, though. How do I like, play? I feel like his I, sound was like he was what he was West Coast was what his sound wasn't West Coast. So that's was, that's was, that's the downfall about it though as well too. Yeah, he had some couple of uh, West Coast coast sound with the with the help of Mustard, but it just like the rest of the stuff was like more ATL. You know that was the that was the sound right there. So that's what kind of like you know it was a double edged sword right there. A lot of the guys rock with me, but I never got like ordained as mm -hmm. the one to have the torch. I ain't necessarily get it passed to me, so I don't feel no pressure. Well, 
As we know today, his music has stagnated since that first album. And after several lackluster projects, he's basically returned to an underground artist. As for another immensely popular rapper who could have led the Big West Coast, yeah, Long Beach's this, Vince yes. Staples was definitely charismatic enough and capable of making the music, but has some reservations about the industry, which means the machine will never get behind him. The truth of the matter when it comes to hip-hop, in my opinion, is like we got to stop pretending we care about these people and we care about these kids. This is a business. They want to use you and destroy you and get your money, and it's better for their business if you're dead. That's why they put out albums after you died. If they cared about you as an artist, they wouldn't do that. They would just give your parents to remainder your contract. Mm. They would give you health insurance. They would give you life insurance. It's just, you get what I'm saying? Damn. We got to realize why this is the thing, because it's money in it, and they're going to keep selling it, and we're going to keep perpetuating it, and then we're going to be hurt when somebody dies. Mm. Now, album ready in four weeks once you die. You get the radio budget, then you get the marketing budget and while his music is highly respected his sales figures are only decreasing from 2017's big fish theory in terms of artists that could lead cali back to the top it seems like many artists have hit a glass ceiling Westside Boogie may be calling himself the king of LA and has no shortage of skill, but he's just not capturing the attention of the masses. Likewise, Mozzie can't reach that next stage. And as for Larry June, he's got a following due to his consistently great material, but he's never gonna be a major star with his laid back style. As for someone like Dom Kennedy, his buzz was nearly uncontainable at one point, right. but due to the fact that he never got that big break and yeah. stayed independent, his reach never expanded like it should have. Mm -hmm. I haven't made no money in the music industry. I haven't really, really I got like no he, favors. He, he, I don't have no friends. I feel yeah. like he could get that break out. He have he has to go mainstream, get that break out. Just the only thing is like it's a lot of risk with that non days, man. But yeah. Music industry. Uh -huh. Nip was my brother. He had deals, but it was time he didn't. But you know, that was like a person I respected and loved, but nobody yeah, really else. Possessing no shortage of talent but lacking an opportunity, Snoop had this to say about the fall of LA. I'm gonna tell you why we fell off. For one, LA radio don't support us. Ooh. We got DJs out there that don't come from LA, that don't support our music, that don't give us love, don't give mm. us a shot. They'd rather play Drake, Lil Wayne, mm. whoever else is hot. No disrespect, they got hot records, but f that. Them ain't from the West Coast. <laughs> they should be on the back burner. They should be right. getting played second. It's like when I come through New York, I expect to hear Jay-Z first, 50, nah. That's facts. Yeah. Now, if I come out here and I'm hearing all this bouncing that ain't a New York sound, it makes me feel like New York has been taken captive as well. Now, when you go- And it's sad, fuck, that's what it is. You know what I mean? A lot of, I mean, nothing against, like I said, like I said, nothing against the boys. We like, I rock with it though. It's just like, in that area, you should sure rock with your area first, then the other folks. You know what I'm saying? If that's, if that's the case, that's kind of suck right there, to be honest. The South, we playing South, South, South. We might slip one of you records in, but... <laughs> oh. Everything comes back around, whether it's fashion, music, or relevance mm -hmm. of an area. So while Cali is lying dormant at the moment, all it takes is a few artists to bubble up, yep. and suddenly we're having a very different conversation. But don't take our word for it. Just listen to Cube. Kendrick is great, so yeah, I'm not worried about it. We got a lot of creative people out here that uh, love hip hop, not only down here, but in Northern California too. I just know whoever comes is gonna be creative. You're not gonna make noise unless you're very creative, so you gotta be. With the trap music wave dying off and Drill yeah. casting a dark shadow over the genre, there's always room for the West Coast to pop up with a unique sound of their own. And when they can, it'll certainly be beneficial for the health of hip hop as a whole. All right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just, you know, they need that wordplay. This is going to be interesting. Check out what intention corny rappers. I might check that out as well, too, you know? You know, I like, to, nowadays, I'm just understanding the term corny less and less nowadays as well, too. Because even, um, what's the name? Well, Jordan Lucas got called corny. Well, then that, um, I'm going to figure out what he's trying to do. But if you like more reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Brenner and TJ signing off. One love.